everybody, it's Kristen and I have a haul for you guys today. Happy bonus Sunday video. So what I decided to do at the beginning of this year is that throughout the year I'm just going to have one haul a month and within that, within that month I'll just kind of save everything that I've been purchasing and show it to you all in one video. Generally it will be on a Sunday and I will call it a bonus Sunday video. <laughs> so that's what I have today. I'm going to go ahead and just jump in and get started. I have things from all over the place and I'll tell you what, what and where and why and how as I go along. So I have one kind of random thing that I purchased this month and that is what I have on my nails today and it's the Sinful Colors in Folly. It's a really interesting color. It's a very reddish pinky red it's I can't decide if it's pink or if it's red it definitely leans more pink than it does red but I really like it I put it on today I'm actually filming this Saturday so I put it on Wednesday night and it's faring very well I really I like the sinful colors I'm just saying so okay so while we were talking about nails I actually purchased two of these this is the from Glisten and Glow HK Girl Fast Drying Super Shiny Clear Top Coat. One of my subscribers suggested this to me, and I like this. I need to play with it just a little bit more. I've only used it a couple of times, and I felt like after even, I went, I did my nails and went to bed about two hours later, and woke up and had kind of marks on my nails. So I'm not sure because it's supposed to be very like rock hard dry within five minutes. So I need to play with it a little more. I maybe did too thick of a coat of, um, my nail polish or something. I'm not really sure, but I need to play with it. And then the other thing I want to mention is, um, and uh, I actually don't know her name. A Love Tart is her channel name. I don't know her first name. But she had suggested to me um, below a video that I get the OPI Crystal Nail Files. So I found these, I found three of them, or no, I must have just found one. I purchased three of them on Amazon so it's what it looks like and I guess this is just so much better for your nails than a regular file and I have heard that in the past I had tried to find one I remember a way a long time back and could only find a ginormous one and um, my friend Amber had sent me a little mini Sephora one that I keep in my purse so I bought three I bought one for a friend and then I bought one to have here and one to have at my desk at work one of these days I should do a video from work showing you the beauty products I have in my desk would that be interesting maybe maybe not all right, I have some Ulta stuff. I went to Ulta last weekend, I guess it was, with Bob. No, we went to Apple, or no, we went to Green Bay. He did not go to Ulta with me. <laughs> Come on now. And I had a Body Lux conditioner, but I didn't have any of the shampoo, the Joico. This is my favorite line. I just talked about these shampoos and conditioners in my hair care video, which I will link below for you if you missed. So I grabbed that. And then I saw Laura Vitale. I think, yeah, talking about this. And this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. It says it's silicone-free, silicone alcohol-free, and oil-free. So we will see. I, I understand that you're, yeah, you're supposed to prime your face by using this. I'm not sure if you use another primer and this or just that. I will, I will report back when I figure it out. But, so that's what it looks like. Just a real, a clear liquid. So I'm excited to give that a shot. I've, I've only ever used just, you know, like your normal sort of primer thing. All right, the next thing that I purchased, one of my subscribers, her name is Lauren, had suggested actually in that hair video, or she sent me a message after, saying that I might like, when I keep my hair naturally curly, I might like the Sebastian Whipped Cream Light Conditioning Style Whip. So that was the reason for my going to Ulta, and then a few other things happened in my cart. All right, the Real, the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. This is this is one of the new ones. Let's pop this out of here. I, as you guys know, I did. I was not a fan of the Bold Metals, but I am a fan of their regular line. I I always have been. So this that's oh that's that's nice. It's not too dense and it's not too too loosely packed. I think that'll be nice actually. It's really it's kind of a. So we'll see. I just you know I just wanted to play. What can I say? I love me a brush. I'm a big fan of makeup brushes. And then the other thing, and I think I've heard Michelle from Makeup MLC, maybe it's the only person I've heard talking about this. This is the Smashbox Photo Filter Creamy Powder Foundation. I picked it up in the color 2 or the shade 2. Just looks like that. And let's do a little. It is very creamy. I swatched it in store. So it looks like that. So we'll see. I'm not sure if you were able to see that, but I was curious about that, so I grabbed that. And then for your birthday this year from Ulta, you get uh, an eye palette, and this is an indie. 
So there are the four around the outside shades. Let's see how they'll swatch. Not bad, actually. Let me give it a little blend there. Not bad. Let's try the center one. The center one is just kind of a little bit of a sheen with the highlight, so that's nice. I don't know that I really have used many of the... You guys know I like the pigments from Ulta, but I don't think I've used any of the shadows, so that'll be fun to play with. All right, let's move on to Sephora. I have a few things that I purchased, and then one thing that was a gift from a friend for my birthday. So to that end, I got the birthday kit for VIB, whatever. You know, you know, you, you know, you know. And it's NARS this year, so it has the... Pencil, the Velvet Matte Pencil in Cruella, the Velvet Matte, or Satin Lip Pencil in No Idea, Rikugian, and then a Larger Than Life Longwear Eye Pencil, which, is this a twist up? Nope. Oh, it is. It's a twist up. Just, I was curious if it was just like the, this is, you know, yeah, the, in the Via Veneto. I have the full size of that, or I did, I might have given it away. So let's have a little swatch fest here of these. Oh, that's a really pretty shade. I don't, I've seen people haul these, but I don't think I've seen anybody swatch them. Oh, so is that. So there are those two shades. The darker one is the Corella, this one. And then that's the one that starts with an R, which I'll list below. All right, I, I got the full size of the Marc Jacobs Blacker Eyeliner. I, these are, this is awesome. I, I just don't want to be without it. I have, I said in a vlog not that long ago that I'm going to clean up my black eyeliners, give them away, and pare it down, you know, give a lot of them away, and really pare it down. T this works so well, so well. And I heard, somebody told me that they were a 100 point perk right now, this this liner, so if, if it is, check it out. It's worth spending 100 points to see how amazing it is in your waterline. I mean, blown away. And I'm not the only one that's blown away, so that's good. <laughs> It's like vindication when somebody else, or not vindication, but anyway, it's nice when somebody agrees with me. Okay, so you probably knew, the next three things are palettes. You probably knew this was going to happen at some point. I was trying to resist, but I had some things that I needed to return, and um, yeah, this really is very pretty. I have done nothing but look at it. I haven't even played with it yet. I'll probably pull it out this week and start playing with it. Um... Yeah, what's nice about it, and I can't remember who I heard saying this, but you can work in kind of quadrants, like here, or obviously, you know, but it's kind of nice that they have it set up that way as well. It's very nice. We, we will see. I find Tarte eyeshadows to be hit and miss. Um, sometimes they're great, and sometimes they're just not. So um, we will see. Usually in their holiday palettes, I, I don't find them to be all that great. And this one was kind of a little bit of a splurge because it is $80, I think. Um, I didn't, I, look, I haven't even unwrapped it. Still in all of its pretty glory wrapping. And that is the Narcissist palette. I've not tried any of the dual intensity shadows. Um, I, there are a couple of the blushes that I'm really curious about. So those are the shades in case you haven't seen them. I am trying to decide how I'm going to do a video on this particular one, but if I did a Four Looks One palette or something like that, I'd have to bring more shades into it because they're all shimmery. But let's just... I don't want to ruin them. So there's a couple of them. I've heard good things about them. So we'll see. I'm excited to play with it. How I have kept my little fingers out of it this long is beyond me, but... You know. The last thing I want to show you is actually a birthday gift from a subscriber of mine. And I've gone back and forth and back and forth on getting this palette. And so it was really sweet that I ended up getting it. And this is the Smashbox, let me give you the right name, Color and Contour palette. So it looks like this book and it's got this um, elastic around it. And inside of it, and there, it's the photo op eyeshadows, which are the best formula that they have. So it has kind of the new, and I, I love this. It has the neutrals on one side, and it has this on the other side, and these actually pop out. So you can you can pop that out, because it has this protective cover on it, you could travel with just this, or more likely, just the neutral side. Um, but then, so it has three blushes down here on the color side, and then on the neutral side it has a contour, bronze, and highlight, which I understand are the same shades in that, sorry, let me flip that open. I understand that these are the same shades that are in their contour palette. I don't have that one, but... 
So yeah, I'm excited about that. And thank you again to the friend who sent that to me. Okay, I have two palettes that I purchased from the Camp Cosmetics Permanent line that they have. And oops, I just opened up the wrong one. I already swatched one of them on my hand and then had to plug in my camera because of course my battery was dying. So this is a limited edition for spring and this is in Serenity at Sunset. It looks like that. So pretty. I'm in love with this shade right here and this shade right here. I mean, not to mention the purples, but so there are swatches right there. And I'm going to insert a picture here as well of a swatch that I did. I think I put it on Instagram, but I'll insert it here. And then the other one that I purchased is in Bedroom Eyes, which looks like this. I have a swatch picture of that as well. Those are the swatches right there. Ugh, this brown, I can't even. Mm. <laughs> a couple of sort of random drugstore things. I just, I, they were in here with what I was going to show you, so I thought I'll just show you. I um, actually got a tweezers that I want to have in my desk at work so I don't have to carry one back and forth. I really should maybe do that video. And then two of the Crest 3D White travel size because I have a trip coming up in March and I also have one coming up in April. And then, so to that end, some Neutrogena travel makeup, travel size makeup wipes. Why I went into Target originally was I was looking for this, which is the Sonia Kashuk Medium Shader. If I can figure out how to get this open. Well, I need scissors to open it, so I'll just show you. It's a little bit bigger than the 106, which I've talked quite a bit about. This is the 103, um, and so it's, I'm going to play with this a little bit and see. I, I'm a little concerned because of how long it is. I'm not sure that I'm going to like that, but we shall see what, what we shall see. And then the last thing that I want to show you, and he probably doesn't even know this, but I'm totally going to blame Seth from Sethikins. He um, talked about Killian Fragrances, I don't even know, a while back, and so I kind of have been a little bit obsessed. So I had emailed or text or called, I don't know, my friend David at um, Bergdorf Goodman in New York City and asked him if he could get me a couple of samples because I was really curious about the fragrances. And they're, you know, they're pricey. So um, for my birthday, I ended up finding one that I really liked, and this, is, this was what my birthday gift was. And first of all... This is the box. It has a K on it. And then you open it up, and inside is a little thing with a little key that actually there's a lock right here that it would actually, it would lock it. And the, ooh, that was loud. <laughs> and it says Killian Perfume as an Art. And then inside is the, is the scent. And I got the scent in white Chris, it's it's not spelled with a Y. It's K R. It's K. No, it's not. It's C R I S T A L. Hopefully, I'm trying to show you so you can see without a lot of glare. Um, but it is, you know, it reminds me of a little bit lighter, but a little bit more complex boyfriend. You know how I like the scent that Kate Walsh scent boyfriend. It's kind of like that. So if you like that scent, you would really like this. But it's a little more complex than that. I will list, hopefully somewhere, I will list the, the notes in it if I can find them, but the bottle is gorgeous. It has this right here, and I just, it was a treat for my birthday, so. <laughs> All right, I think that that is everything that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. On my face, let me grab it. I have it set over here so that I would not forget. I have the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation, and then as my... The outer two-thirds of my lid, I have, from the smoked palette, the Urban Decay smoked palette, I have Bar Lust. Deepening things up, I have Back Door. And then on the inner corner, I used all the glitters from MAC. And then as my crease sort of transition color, I used Ho, H-A-U-X. I think it's pronounced Ho. And then for my blush today, I used the Bare Minerals in Plush Peach. And then a little bit of Mary Luminizer to add the little sheen because that this that is a matte blush. For mascara, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. That's all I have on my lashes. Oh, I love that mascara. And then for my lips today, I used a little bit of Subculture from MAC. And I used, from the Creamy Matte Collection from Maybelline, I used Craving Coral. And then just to tone that down just a tad and give it a little bit of sheen, I have Camp Cosmetics Trist over the top of it. 
I think that that is everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're having a great day and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.